Hello everyone. Let us discuss abnormal uterine bleeding today. About 10 to 15 percent of women experience episodes of abnormal uterine bleeding at some time during the reproductive years of life. It is common during the extremes of reproductive life following a pregnancy or during lactation. 55.7% adolescents experience abnormal uterine bleeding in the first year after the onset of puberty due to immature hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis leading to anovulatory cycles. It generally takes 18 months to 2 years for regular cycles to be established. Abnormal uterine bleeding is the new nomenclature instead of dysfunctional uterine bleeding. Abnormal uterine bleeding has replaced the term dysfunctional uterine bleeding in the women of reproductive age in the absence of pregnancy. Before diving deep into the topic, let us get familiar with the terminologies related to menstruation. Let us begin with menorrhagia. Menorrhagia is excessive menstrual bleeding with regular menstrual cycles. Metrorrhagia is excessive menstrual bleeding with irregular menstrual cycles. So remember, menorrhagia was excessive menstrual bleeding with regular menstrual cycles, whereas metrorrhagia has irregular menstrual cycles. Oligomenorrhea is infrequent menses where the cycle length is prolonged which lasts for more than 35 days without affecting the duration and amount of the flow. Next we have is polymenorrhagia. So polymenorrhagia is nothing but shorter duration of menstrual cycle coupled with heavier flow or prolongation in the duration of the flow. Now let us know the causes of abnormal uterine bleeding where the causes are classified under the mnemonics pound coin. Let us know what each mnemonic stands for. So in palm coin classification, P stands for polyps, A for adenomyosis, L for leomyoma, M for malignancy and hyperplasia, C stands for coagulopathy, O for ovulatory dysfunction, E for endometrial related causes, I stands for iatrogenic causes and N stands for the causes that are not yet classified. So stay tuned guys as we will be discussing each entity, each cause in depth in the upcoming videos. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe right away and follow for more. Do consider to like, share and subscribe the channel if this information was useful to you. Follow me on Instagram for more such helpful health related information.